beautiful viewers. So today I'm super excited to be filming this series. Um, I love, love, love these products. Part one is where I showed you how I set everything up and I also went ahead and showed you what's included in my kit. Part two is where I actually showed you how to apply the airbrush foundation and now it's time to clean everything up. So this is part three of a three part series. So if you haven't already checked out the other two parts, uh, they'll be linked down below. So make sure to check those out. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you, thank you so much for watching and yeah, let's get started. Right, so what you're going to need is obviously a dirty air gun, so um, here's mine, and then a bottle filled with distilled water or filtered water that we can use to clean out our air gun, and then maybe a tissue, a baby wipe, anything really that you can just spray product on, um, and that's going to help us clean everything out also. So now I just went ahead and turned on the actual compressor so that I can spray out any remaining product. So as you can see, we have a lot of blush left. And this is just going to make cleaning a lot easier and a lot faster. And that looks to be about all that's left in there. So now we're going to go ahead and take some of our water, open it, and then place some inside. So as you can see, you can see some of the um, foundation mixing in with the water. So now we're going to stick our finger in here and make some bubbles. And now we're just basically mixing the foundation in with the water. And as you can see, it's turned in a pinky color because I did have blush in here before. So now it's a bit cleaner, but it can still do a lot more cleaning. So we're going to do this about two or three more times. There we go. So that's pretty pink again. So I'm going to dump that out. It's a bit cleaner now, so we're going to go ahead and just add some more. There we go. It's not as pink anymore, but it's still a little opaque. So we're going to do this one more time. And this time it should run pretty clear. So as you can see, it stayed clear. It's not mixing in with anything. And it's still pretty clear. So now what we're going to do in order to clean out the rest of the system is just spray some of this out now. We want to do it until everything is nice and clear. So as you can see, there is no color on the wet wipe, so um, it's running clearer now. So we're going to dump this out, and we're basically done with the actual cleaning inside. But what you can do is take either a napkin, a baby wipe, and just make sure to just clean everything out very nicely. And as you can see, there is a little bit of color on the napkin, so I'm glad we did that. The next thing you want to do is clean the front part. This is very important because if foundation dries here, then you can definitely run into some problems. So I just went ahead and turned off the compressor. Now what I'm going to do is clean this area here. But in order to do so, I need to pull back on the actual lever to pull back the needle. Otherwise, you can damage the needle and that too will cause problems. So I've gone ahead and pulled back on the actual lever before I dig in and start cleaning. Alright, so we're basically done cleaning our air gun now. Now what we want to do is put back this little cap on top. And this is going to keep it nice and dust free while we're not using it. So thank you, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that you like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.